Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shay Love Supreme here, back with another video about astrology. I thank you all who have subscribed to me, who support this channel, and just help it grow, help it grow, help it grow. Yes, yes, yes. I love astrology, I love spirituality. That is my life, this is my life. So I appreciate everybody who definitely tunes in and gets something from it each and every time. I love sharing knowledge, I love sharing wisdom, and I just love just being me, and y'all just loving me being me too, okay, okay. So without further ado, I want to say, yes, Happy Lunar New Year, Happy Chinese New Year, okay? It is a little bit later that I am filming this, okay? It's around 10 o'clock right now, um, Pacific Standard Time, yes. But um, I wanted to make it a point to make this video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So also in accompany with um, the Lunar New Year phase, right? This is also the official day that Uranus goes directly into the sign of Taurus. So definitely major unexpected changes that are happening are happening and inevitable to happen and occur at this time. And also changes in terms of stability and how we see stability and also just things that, um, that we've been waiting for essentially to come into the physical. It is happening at this time. So for those of you who have been waiting, be prepared and be in preparance <laughs> to receive what you need to receive at this point in time. Expect the unexpected. Yes. So I also have a couple of announcements as well that I want to share with you all. I am offering um, natal birth chart readings for 50% off from January 22nd, which is tonight, up until January 29th of next week. So that's about, what, seven or eight days that this deal is going on. So definitely take advantage of it. Definitely book your natal chart reading with me. Um, if you have me on Instagram, DM me at Supreme underscore 22. If you have me on Facebook, inbox me on at Love, And then in parentheses, it'll say Supreme, okay? But yes definitely contact me. Also too, if you want to contact me for a natal birth chart reading for this deal, you can email me at evansr2014 at gmail.com and I will get back to you. We can schedule, you know, get this deal while it's hot, baby. Get this deal while it's going on because this is something that is just amazing. I normally offer my readings for 350 US dollars, but Right now, I am offering at 50% off, so that is 175 US dollars. So definitely take advantage of this deal. Now, moving forward, another announcement that I have is um, my great friend Sophia Daniels is offering her transformational tarot readings with Sophia's Joy Tarot and Charm readings. So this is a deal that is also 50% off and she covers the topics of uh, love readings as far as romantic love readings, uh, direction, as far as directional readings. If you feel like there's certain things that are going on within your life that you need more clarity on or more guidance on, she can definitely help you through that. Another thing that she is offering is yearly spread. So what is happening for the year ahead of 2023? She has a reading for that as well. So definitely contact her. I will leave her information down in the description box below as well. The last thing that I have to announce is that me, Sophia, and two other wonderful ladies, Ebony and Tanya, have come together to form the rest retreat that we are having here in the Yucatan, Mexico. Yes, we are. So basically that rest retreat itself is about you coming here from Sunday to Sunday, seven days, right? The seventh day, of course, you leave for your flight, but um, these seven days are encompassed of you basically having a renewal and a rebirth spiritually in order for you to really gain more clarity and guidance within the direction and path that you're supposed to be going into within your journey. So within this retreat itself, I don't want to give it all away now, but um, you will receive your natal birth chart reading from me in person. Also, you will receive um, a tarot reading from Sophia in person. And then you also will get to experience the richness and the wonderful culture of the Yucatan, Mexico, and Merida. Now, if you guys have watched the um, movie called Wakanda Forever, right? They mentioned 
uh, the Yucatan, Mexico. So it is a very spiritual and very mystical place, a very wonderful place with wonderful, beautiful people. So it, it you can't get it no better than that. Come and experience something different than what you've experiencing, especially if you live in the United States. But don't get it twisted. This retreat itself is not only for the United States. It is for anybody who is interested in coming here and experiencing something different. And you want a life change. You want change within your life, okay? Keep in mind, you will have to know how to speak English um, because we are, uh, that is really all of our first language is English. Um, but we definitely will work with you. If you, you know, you got 75% English, you know what you, you know, we can work with you. We can work with you, okay? We don't discriminate. So everybody is definitely invited to this wonderful retreat. This is an ongoing retreat as well. It's not just like one and done and certain dates. No, um, you book and you go on the website and you book and it's two people per booking and yeah, definitely just be prepared in order to just experience a change, a deep, deep, wonderful, drastic change within your life that you have been wanting. And we will provide that to you. That's what we're here for. Now, let's move further into the topic of this video of why we are here as well. And it is because we are talking about the sixth house within astrology and what that means within your natal birth chart and why it's important. Well, the sixth house itself represents the daily work life, work environment, routines, and health regimen, depending on the sign that represents this chart. Okay? Okay. Kabish? Kabish. <laughs> so this house naturally is represented by the sign of Virgo. And Virgo is seen as being the manager of the zodiac, right? The person who always keeps things tip in tip-top shape, organized, in order. And this is the person where people can depend on them to get the job done. Also, Virgo is seen um, as the wounded healer or just the healer in general of the Zodiac, right? Because it is ruled by the asteroid Chiron. I know that in other texts of astrology, if you guys are more familiar with astrology, um, they say that Mercury rules Virgo, which could be very true. But Chiron also rules Virgo. So it's important to keep that noted and to research that if you'd like on your own time. Mm hmm. So uh, this house is very important to look at because a lot of us spend a lot of our lives putting so much drive, effort, passion into the work that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And this is a part of our routine. And it's so important to look at too because if you're spending so much time at this job that's not really giving you what you need in return, it's time to really look into your birth chart or help um, or have me help you to look at what you're really supposed to be putting your drive and energy and passions into instead of not receiving what you need to receive. Mm -hmm. Not receiving that reciprocity, especially within the work field that we all need. Mm -hmm. So the sign that represents this house um, is somewhat specific. Uh, chart placement also represents the parts of the body that could be more affected within their health. So for instance, if you you are a person who is a cancer sixth house, right? You're a person where your upper stomach area, your stomach in general, um, you can't eat a lot of spicy stuff because you might have a more um, sensitive stomach or you may have to be more vigilant in what you eat because your stomach can, you know, expand. You know, you, you might be more prone to gaining a little bit more weight in the stomach area and different things of that nature. That's very prevalent here. Mm -hmm. So it's important also to have a very balanced way of how you treat your physical health in order for you to be able to show up to your work life in optimal speed, okay? The optimal speed, meaning that you need to show up to work, ready to work, and ready to get the job done and not letting health circumstances keep you back. Meaning that you need to make sure that your health is good, that everything is in order, everything is in check in order for you to operate how you need to operate and show up at work, hand in hand. That's why it's on the sixth house. Another example of a sixth house placement would be sixth house in Gemini. This person may have more than one type of income or more than one job because they're a person who likes to go from place to place, like to do more than one thing at once, right? And you know, with this kind of energy too, they are a person who's very good at communicating um, and 
they just can't stay still for too long. They always gotta be walking around somewhere. They can't stay at a regular um, work from home job where you're sitting on, on the computer all day. No, they need to get up. They need to walk around. They need to do this and do that to feel comfortable. Also, um, they, as far as health goes, right, they need to focus on their nervous system, making sure that all the nervous energy or all of the overstimulation is being channeled into their work when they are working. Another thing though, too, is that this person may enjoy working with their hands. Mm -hmm. And now when it comes to health, this person with a Gemini 6 house needs to pay attention to their nervous system and take time, especially on their days off, to have solitude, to have rest, and to rest their body. And also to rest their mind as well, because Gemini um, is ruled by Mercury, which also has to do with the mind. So really resting fully and completely and taking work off of their mind at the end of the day is very prevalent here. Very, very, very um, recommended. <laughs> now, that is all I have to say for my summary of the sixth house. Um, like I said before, if you're interested in receiving a natal birth chart reading, um, also, if you are interested in this special that I am providing, definitely um, DM me at Supreme underscore 22. You can also inbox me to book um, on Facebook at Shaylove as well. I answer my inboxes, especially if they are of work purposes. <laughs> and definitely take advantage of Sophia's Tarot and Charm readings. Mm -hmm. That's also 50% off as well for the week. And lastly, check out and ask me about the rest retreat as well. Ask, 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 and we will get back to you. So definitely email me as well about any three of these um, deals and things that are happening. Email me at evansr2014 at gmail.com. And I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in and listening to this wonderful video. I hope that you guys have more insight about the sixth house. And yeah, yeah, I hope you guys have a great one. And I hope that you like, share, subscribe, and definitely interact with me within the comments. I will respond. I will, as long as it's high vibrational. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So until next time, y'all, peace.